everybody's going to think that it's only Green Party members here. <laughs> <laughs> but I think this is all of us for tonight. Um, I'm Stacey Dankard. I'm the Green Party of Ontario candidate for Kitchener Centre. Uh, I'm the mother of two boys, and I have my PhD in neuroscience. Although a few years ago, I decided to switch, switch foci uh, and follow my passions for environmental change instead. So now I am co-director of a local nonprofit organization called REN, Waterloo Region Environment Network. And what we do is we bring together local environmental organizations and help build capacity, share resources, and build collaboration among them so that we can have a stronger, bigger impact in the region. But the only reason that I was able to make that shift is because I was lucky enough to have a husband who saw value in what I was doing and just who was willing to support me through that, through that change, and support me while I volunteer as head of this organization. And I know that that is a position of luxury that so many people don't, don't get to live in. And, um, and that means that the risks that they take for their passions, which I think affects this community more than any other, is so much higher than, than the risk that I took. So I'm acknowledging that. And so I think that we do need to really uh, improve the way that we support our arts and culture communities. I believe that this is the backbone of keeping a healthy, mentally healthy community. It's really hard for people to have a really fulsome life without all of the value that arts and culture brings. So this is the perspective that I bring. And part of, part of the reason that I joined the Green Party is because we run on a set of values, and those values include things like social justice, equality, that type of thing. Um, and it's through those lenses that we make our policy, which means we end up with a set of consistent holistic policies that address uh, some of the systemic issues that we're facing today. So for example, something like GDP isn't really measuring prosperity in Ontario. We need something that includes a measurement of the well-being of the humans and the environment within it. I think that that's really important. And also, as Bob touched on earlier, if we truly want to support the creation of arts and culture and the people within it, then we need a guaranteed annual income, and that is so that everybody can have the security and the dignity to live and um, support the rest of us through all of the creations uh, that are produced. And I know that that's something that is expensive, but Mike Schreiner, our leader, and I worked through a plan and it is achievable. It is something that we can do now, and we don't have to wait. So I love the arts and the culture within this community. Um, it's something that I love to share with my children, and I know that it brings tourism to many, our community and many others, things like the Blues Festival, the um, Culturing Festival, so many of the other ways that we share, and so many are at risk, things like Night Shift. And so I think that it's important that we support those people in our communities as well as the communities themselves. Thank you so much, uh, and I hope you consider voting for me on June 7th. Thank you.